what's going on guys um it's been a while we never really gave you guys a uh hurricane milton update or what happened during hurricane milton a <clears throat> hurricane that went basically directly over toho um it has done two things one very very good and one very very bad to the lake um the good news is on our guide chips right now we're we're averaging like almost 40 fish a day you know 30 40 fish a day some days are in the 70s big fish you know we've been catching eights and nines and it's made fishing amazing a lot of it has to do with the moving water these fish are just all conjugated in the moving water spots and it's made for some very easy fishing now the bad news is it basically turned the lake upside down the lake is is completely different than what it was fishing you know it's really kind of sucks too because i was on some really really big fish uh right before the hurricane came and then hurricane comes and everything got knocked down and <laughs> the fish are in different spots and, um, it's made main lake fishing very, very hard, which has made us very reliant on the amazing, you know, moving water spots. Problem is when that moving water stops, we're screwed. Um, so our guys are gonna have to figure something out. The moving water kind of has been going up and down. It's still remaining to be really, really good. But, you know, I've been trying and trying and trying to find these new spots, and, but we should get on to them pretty soon. I mean, we got three guys out a day almost, you know, looking for new spots and we're finding some new areas. So we're getting back on it. What I've noticed the lake is up a bunch and we're, push it shallow a lot and uh, get into them a lot more shallow in the shallow water like grassy fun fishing areas rather than like the offshore hydrilla which feels a lot more like Florida fishing it's a, it's a lot more like what I kind of enjoy I love fishing hydrilla because it's good but my classic fishing that I love is, is in that grass so but today we're not even on Toho we're on a different lake in the Kissimmee chain uh, just doing a little bit of fun getting my confidence back up and hopefully we can catch a bunch of fish today everything seems pretty good out so should be a pretty good day. All right, so I'm gonna, before I make a fool of myself, before I get um, absolutely roasted on YouTube, I'm using a left-handed reel and I'm a right-handed person and I'm just trying to get better at it. So if my hook sets look wonky, if it looks like every fish I'm reeling in looks like a 10 pounder when it's a one pounder, cause the way I'm reeling, it's cause I'm still learning how to do the, uh, the left-handed reels. It's been, uh, it's been a rough, it's been a rough transition, but you know, I've got left-handed reels for my clients and, you know, they're decent reels and I spent a good money on them. So I figured to myself, you know, I ought to learn how to use them. There's some fish already jumping over there. I ought to learn how to use them. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to get ourselves a little bit better at them while we're just out here having fun. So. Finally got one. Zeroed out there for a little bit. I was dazing off staring at my live scope. <laughs> Finally. On the speed worm in the middle of nowhere too. Again, left-handed, set the hook on that sucker and uh, thought it was a giant. It wasn't. That's all right here. Lily pad stalks have definitely stopped working. Um, Really kind of expected to kind of get them in there, but that's all right. That's the fun about fishing is you got to find them in new areas every single time you go. So we're in a little bit thicker area here. Oh, there's another bite. Maybe not. Coming towards me, maybe. Oh, nope. <clears throat> we're in a little bit thicker area. Here's a second bite. And I was kind of just cruising around and <clears throat> saw some a little bit of topwater action going on over here. And I look and there is some thicker grass down there in the bottom, and that's kind of what I prefer when I'm in areas a little bit thicker. A little bit more area for them to live in. There was a crush on top water right there in front of me. I think this is telling me to switch on over to top water for a second. I'm gonna give this a few more casts. So there's definitely fish out here. Okay. Let's try the chatterbait real quick before we kind of switch over. something. We definitely know this fish right here in front of us though. As soon as I stopped recording on that last one, this is actually not a bad fish either. 
Coming towards me a little bit. Ooh, there we go. Number two for the boat. Kind of figure something out here. I mean, there's a little bit of thicker stuff in this corner here. <clears throat> Got that little bite there, and then we saw a top water blow up, and could actually see them on the scope there a little bit. And um, so I figured something a little bit louder because it was there was definitely fish there. Something a little bit louder, like a chatterbait moving through there, and it got us number two. Another blow up right on this little pad patch here. So, man, I'd love to get on a flipping bite today. I've got for the first time in a long time too. I've got a um, something to flip tied on. There's another hit in those pads right there. It's gonna roll a speed one real, real slow. Here we go. There we go. There's more on there too. All right, cool. So we're figuring something out. Been a while since I've been here, so it's kind of like figuring it all out again, and we're figuring something out here. Seeing fish move, man, that's the biggest thing is like, keep your eyes open. Always keep your eyes open. You know, seeing fish moving to those pads, we cast it right towards those pads, and next thing you know, you get a fish. We'll take it. Fish is blowing up right here like three times now, man. Oh, oh, he hit it. I think he dropped it, though. He might still have it. Oh, come on. 100% hit it right there. There we go. <laughs> He's a little guy, man, but that does that sure does feel good right there. That sure does feel good. We're definitely, you know, it's been a month or so since we've been on this lake. And um, it just goes to show that, like, things that worked before don't always, it's not going to stay the same every single time you come to a place, you know. Um, I'm noticing I'm seeing a lot more fish on these pads over here. But also, like, you know, I'm targeting them with, with bigger, bigger baits, and I'm seeing as they're chasing baits, they're chasing these small little minnows out of the water. So what's better to use than a fluke in that situation? It just showed why a fluke is probably the best bait in the world. I don't know. It's definitely been the number one uh, fish catcher this year, at least for clients, um, as far as fish catching. I don't think this is where Big Mama's gonna be. I don't think this is where the big one is gonna be caught at. <clears throat> so we'll play around here for a little bit longer just to prove our little point, make me feel good about kind of figuring something out today and then we're gonna kind of carry on. Oh man, there we go, Drop the fish. <laughs> Probably third cast after that last one. Oh, he's in the pads real good too though. Come on out, buddy. I don't I don't think you're big, so you're not gonna break my heart. There we go. Are we recording? Oh yeah. <laughs> there we go. One cast after the other one. These little fish are just keyed in right now on these pads and the little bit of bait that's kind of running around. Um, and that's kind of what I noticed in the graph too, is they were a little bit smaller fish and they were chasing my bigger baits and then just stopping like near the boat and uh, becoming uninterested. I think it was just a little bit too big for them compared to what they're kind of looking at today. First cast with the frog. <laughs> First cast with the frog. That'll be number seven if we count the one that kind of got quick released. 
and we weren't recording but the 360 got it first cast with the frog man it's just it's one of those days where like everything is new right now but everything is going right like we're figuring things out looking here i see fish busting in the pads throw a frog get them in the pads see fish chasing small bait around these uh <clears throat> the outside skirts of the pads throw a small bait throw a fluke catch them with that um these are the days i like man these are the easy days of fishing right here very good relief after what i've been doing trying to find new fish on toho and whatnot a lot of small fish though Let's see if we can can't get on some bigger ones look what i'm doing is you know because there's so many pads and there's so much disruption and stuff like that i can't really twitch my frog right so i'm just doing what i can with it um and that's just kind of giving it little lifts just kind of making it work just by giving it pops upwards um if i was to pop downwards right now i'd be hitting everything getting myself caught up and once you get yourself caught up in this uh pads like that it makes that hook set very very hard to do and now we got him on the senko ah, of course there we go again, switching it up. And uh, it was a dinky day, but another bait we caught him on, the old Senko. The do or die Senko. We definitely found something going on in this little corner here where these pads are. He'll make number nine for us. So, I don't know. So we switch it up again, try to find a bait that can catch a bigger fish or just keep going, I think definitely key it in what they did was they sprayed this lake and there's not a whole lot of vegetation out in the middle <clears throat> these fish are kind of like condensing themselves on the sides I think today it's in these pads before it was in the lily pad stalks we'll keep rolling on it though How many different things can we catch him on in one spot? Cool. OG Toho rig flipping. That's just, that's just fun, you know, just being able to throw everything and catch him on everything. They're not big. I feel like there could be bigger ones back in here, especially flipping. So we're probably gonna stick to that the rest of the day. It's number nine for us, I believe. So let's keep it rolling. Just to uh, quickly explain the Toho rig. Wow, of course the jet's going over us. <clears throat> well, what a lot of people call a Toho rig. It's actually kind of cool. And obviously it works. But it's just um, weight with a black and blue skirt with a black and blue Senko. This, you can actually buy skirted weights and that's what this is right here. So you can buy just like skirts that you can put behind weights. That's what most people do with the Toho rig. But this is pretty cool. It's a, it's a skirted weight. So it already got your, uh, your little garnish put on there. And I'm using a black and blue tip Senko. All right. So a fun morning. A fun morning that was. You know, it's, uh, it's always fun when you can come out and um, kind of figure the fish out. And get them to bite on what you want them to bite on. You know, what did we catch him on? We caught him on a fluke. We caught him on a speed worm. We caught him on the uh, chatterbait today, Senko. We caught him throwing a frog, which is one of my favorite ways to do it. And we caught him flipping, which is another one of my favorite ways to do it. So, man, we caught him on a variety of things. And, you know, I kept switching up the base to see if I could find out how to get a bigger bite and definitely did not really learn anything about bigger fish out here today. Um, I feel like, you know, that big fish is going to come from either frogging or flipping in the earlier morning. So we're probably going to come back tomorrow with a few of our other captains and um, try to key in on some bigger fish. I fished one spot all morning. We didn't fish for that long, maybe three hours or so. But I think we're going to come back tomorrow and we're going to try to bring Captain Gaines and Captain Devin and key in on some bigger fish. So that, that episode, will hopefully, if we do good, will be coming out soon as well. So stay tuned, guys. And uh, as AJ says, till next time.